Hey, what's up? MKBHD here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Jerry Rig on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Gaurav, aka Technical Guruji, on SuperSaf TV. Hey, it's I Justine here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Austin Evans on SuperSaf TV. Super. Super Safi Lisha. What's up, guys? It's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on Super Saf TV. Hey there, guys. It's Mr. Q from Ragami TV here on Super Saf TV. What's up, guys? This is Michael Fisher on Super Saf TV. Hey, guys. Johnny Ezerk here on Super Saf TV. What's up, guys? I'm Tom the Tech Chat on Super Saf TV. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker on Super Saf TV. What's up, guys? This is David on Super Saf TV. What's up, guys? This is John Rettinger back on Super Saf TV. Hey, guys. Guys, this is Connie Singala here for Super Saf TV. What's up, guys? Saf here on Super Saf TV, and it's the one you've all been waiting for the end of year Super Saf style collaboration where we find out which 2023 smartphones some of your favorite YouTubers choose to use and are taking with them to 2024. Now, as always, there will be two parts to this video. In this video, we will be looking at just smartphones, but in the next video, we'll have a bit of a rewind and look at the best tech of 2023, not including smartphones. If you want to be one of the first to see that, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. Right, to kick things off, which smartphone do I choose to use? Well, I have two SIM cards, one in an iPhone and one in an Android phone. The iPhone, it's very, very simple. It's the big one, it's the iPhone 15 Pro Max. For me, this still has the best and most consistent camera package for photos and videos. Performance has been great with the A17 Pro, excellent battery life, and finally, finally USB type C, so I don't have to carry around multiple cables, especially with my Android smartphones. Now, my Android smartphone does change throughout the year, depending on what I'm reviewing, but the device that my SIM card keeps going back into was actually one that released early in the year, and that is, of course, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, yes, it looks just like the S22 Ultra, but the fact that it still holds up almost a year on is a testament to how good it is. It's a great all-rounder with excellent cameras, the best extended zoom on any smartphone. And this year, we had the 8 Gen 2 across the board. No split between Qualcomm and Exynos. That's me. Let's see what the others have chosen. What's up, guys? This is Austin Evans on SuperSaf TV. My favorite smartphone of this year is a really clear and obvious choice. You saw it a mile away. It's the iPhone 15 Pro. Honestly, this phone is incredibly solid in every possible way. I mean that. Not only is the build quality terrific, we finally got USB-C. And for me, I spend a lot of time using this as my main shooter, not only for photos, but also for video. And the fact that I can walk into an event or pretty much anywhere I'm going with just this phone and capture all the content I need is such a game changer. The iPhone have always been good for video, but the screen, the performance, like there's basically nothing I can really complain about with this. And that is an incredibly impressive thing. So I love the Z Flip, but honestly, the iPhone is beginning to become my main gadget, like period right now. What's up, guys? This is Michael Fisher on Super Saf TV. Saf, you ever think of doing this roundup at a time of year when I'm not utterly fried and completely insane with exhaustion? No? Fine. What smartphone do I use? All of them. But hinges are preferred, and in that category, the OnePlus Open is the one I would choose if you made me pick just one in the large format category, and in the flip phone clamshell category, the Motorola Razr Plus, or on your side of the ocean, the Razr 40 Ultra, I think. That's what the thing is. The nicer one, the red one, the leather one. And I carry them together because I'm just that perverted. And I don't have either one with me right now because I'm using other phones I would rather not use so I can do my job. Thanks for the shades, by the way. What's up, guys? This is Gaurav, aka Technical Guruji, on Super Saf TV, and my pick for this year's smartphone is this the all new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5, especially in this new bespoke yellow color option. Now, this phone is quite an improvement from the last years because now what we have is a full immersive screen on the outside, capable of running almost any app that you want. The phone feels fresh, now with a zero gap hinge. Um, I mean, the form factor is quite improved and considering it's a small, tiny phone, good for all the fun, good for all the eyeballs, and I mean, this is my pick for this year, the all-new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. What's up, guys? It's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on Super Saf TV. 
It has been a great year for phones, but if I had to pick only one, it would be the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Sure, it's got the looks, new materials, a more powerful telephoto, but what I've liked most is performance. I've used iPhones for years as a B camera, but log video combined with that Blackmagic camera app has made me a believer in a phone becoming my A camera at some point. Same thing with gaming, where the words console quality have been tossed around a lot with smartphones, but this is the first phone to actually pull it off. I think the word pro fits the name now more than ever. Saf again, thank you so much for having me. Super, super Safi Licious. Hey, hey guys, this is Connor Singala here for Super Saf TV and welcome to my favorite smartphone of 2024 is the OnePlus Hopona Close. Hopona Close is back. Yes, the OnePlus Hopona. This is the most refreshest phone ever because you know what? I can open it and close. Plus, we have that very sexy camera bump and this very nice display of, you know, fake leather made from petrol. I love petrol. Anyway, this phone is smooth, it's vibrant, big screen, great camera, great for multitasking so I can embezzle and enjoy myself. So, Connor Sigala signing out. Open. How close? <laughs> Take it. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker on SuperSaf TV. You know, I love my iPhone, and for most of this year, I've been rocking the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Of course, last September, after the iPhone event, I switched to the 15 Pro Max in natural titanium. The cameras on this phone are excellent, but I especially love this brushed titanium finish. It's lightweight and even matches my Aura Ring and Apple Watch Ultra 2 with my titanium strap from Nomad. Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q from Ragami TV here on Super Sav TV. Another year, another wrinkle. You see, I'm a big fan of the Samsung Fold 5. However, this has taken over. This is the Oppo Find N3. You see, I love how slim this is. I love the sharp edges. Just the flat surface is really awesome. It's got a really lovely screen as well. Plus, of course, open it up and then you can see that splash in your face. Guys, the software on this is pretty awesome when it comes to multitasking. I can go ahead and just open up loads of different apps at the same time and see them basically full screen. And it's cheaper than the Fold 5. Now, when it comes to an iOS device, obviously, we're gonna have to choose this, the iPhone 15 Pro. Not the Pro Max, because uh, I'm actually Team Mini. This is a pretty nice phone. Why? First of all, the titanium little rounded edges just feel really nice to hold in the hand. It definitely feels lighter as well. Also, don't forget that we've got USB-C, which means that finally we can use one cable to rule them all. Guys, those are my two devices. Boom and boom. All right, take care. And just as I was editing this video, we have hit 2 million subscribers. Thank you to everybody for subscribing. If you haven't already, do consider joining the 2 million. Let's get back to the video. Hey, it's Justine here on Super Saf TV. So the phone that I have been using in 2023 other than my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's no surprise. Like, hi, I have an I in front of my name. I am who I am. Just let me be. The Pixel 8 Pro. I have been loving this phone so much. My sister and I actually did a really fun live stream review with Google this year. So that was a lot of fun to do, but I've really been loving the phone. Not only do I just love the color, but just this design, it just feels different. It feels unique. And I've always been a huge fan of the way that the pixels look. And of course, it's deep integration with Google and all of the things that they're doing with their AI initiative. I am so here for it. Hey guys, Ash here from C40 Tech on SuperSaf TV. And my favorite phone this year has got to be the Nubia Z50. Well, technically, it did launch five days before 2023, but I got it this year and it's the one that surprised me the most. An HN2 for 300 something dollars right around launch. I went in with very tempered expectations, but what I ended up getting was a solid phone I enjoyed using. It even had a unique 35mm equivalent lens paired with a solid sensor with good software, a very ergonomic form factor, a follow the back that let you actually use the phone naked. I mean, this phone, the Nubia Z50, I feel it's the perfect example of a product punching way over its weight class. What's up guys, this is John Rettinger back on SuperSaf TV. Another year has gone by and I'm here to tell you what my favorite smartphone that I use all year is and it's two phones. Uh, on one hand, it is the iPhone 15 Pro Max because it's the iPhone. 
those were the best of everything. But the other phone that's been in my pocket since it came out that I think is gonna be in my phone well into 2024, my sweet foldy boy, the OnePlus Open. I love the aspect ratio, I love the screen, I love the technology. It's not perfect, but it's really close when it comes to the world of foldables. What's up guys, this is Jerry Rigg on SuperSaf TV, and for the past 13 years, I've been an Android user. But I decided to give iPhone a chance, and I have been doing so for the past three months. However, I'm switching back to Android. Very long story short, I can get more done on Android with less taps. And I can schedule text messages on Android, which is important to me and not a feature the iPhone has. What's up, guys? This is David on SuperSaf TV, and I don't really have a daily phone that I use, I try to switch into whatever phone that I'm doing a video on next. But I will say that one phone that I keep thinking about wanting to use is the Google Pixel Fold. Its shape just kind of reminds me of a moleskin notebook in the best way. And it's just so nice to have pixel cameras and all that entails on a folding phone. It's something I feel like we all just have always wanted. If only the battery life didn't suck as much as it did. Maybe they'll do better with the next one. Hey guys, Jenny Zarek here on SuperSaf TV. And for my 2023 smartphones, I've been rocking the iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural titanium, as well as the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Uh, I love having the five time telephoto. I love all of the AI features and best take on the Google. And I'm always rocking an iPhone. So there you have it. That's what I've been rocking as my main devices in 2023. What's up, guys? I'm Tom the Tech Chap on SuperSaf TV. Now, obviously, there's been a ton of great phones this year, but for me, what I've been carrying in my pocket, Pockets. Well, there's two. This guy, this is the OnePlus Open, which I reckon is the best foldable phone you can buy right now. I absolutely love this thing. And also the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I'm recording this on in 4K cinematic mode. I just wish there was a 4K 60 mode so I can then slow it down afterwards to get those nice slow-mo shots. But yeah, mostly for video and also the ecosystem, the iPhone's been my main phone this year. Hey, what's up? MKBHD here on SuperSaf TV. So we're talking smartphones. Favorite phone of the year for me. Uh, there's a lot to pick from. I, I think we've seen all of them come out by this point. And I think my favorite one is the one that I'm going back to daily driving after testing all the other phones, which right now for me is the Pixel 8 Pro. A lot of software features on this phone. It's not really about the hardware. It's got nice hardware too, but it's so much software to the point where if you live in a region where not all of the software features are enabled, it's a notably worse phone. But I live in a region where I do have all the software features and they're great, so I like this phone a lot. So there we have it, the smartphones that some of your favorite YouTubers choose to use, 2023-24 edition. What are your favorite smartphones of 2023? The ones you choose to use, drop them in the comments below. Remember, part two of this video, the best tech of 2023 will be coming very soon. If you wanna see that first, then do subscribe if you haven't already. As always, a huge thanks to all of my friends for taking part in this video yet again. This is the ninth year running that we've had this series and God willing, inshallah, we will have the big 10th year anniversary next year. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see my top five favorite smartphones of 2023, that video will be linked here, as well as a previous collaboration linked here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.